Five Europeans landed in a city built on dreams. Their dream was to defend the Moscone Cup, but standing in their way, Team USA. Determined to reclaim a prize they last won two years ago. So far, so good for the Americans, but this European side won't give up without a fight. Their dream is still alive, but only just in the greatest team event in nine ball. Welcome to the Moscone Cup. A good start by the Europeans on day three, where they injected fresh hope into their campaign with Fian, Homan, Sokay, and Eminen all producing the goods when it mattered. But America hit back, and by the end of play, the gap remained the same as the Americans wrestled back the advantage. The most telling fact is Team USA's proximity to victory, just two away from their target of 11 as they prepared for the final day. This is where the pressure is really applied to both sides. Singles all the way to the end. Every match now a must-win situation for the Europeans. Ralph Sokay kick-started the Europeans with a vital opening win over Shane Van Boning. Those two set to meet again. Niels Fein was brushed aside by Dennis Hatch, increasing pressure on Europe. Thorsten Hamann had to perform and did against Johnny Archer. But the spotlight once again falls on Sokay, who must once again defeat Van Boning. And Ralph has won the lag, and by some margin. That doesn't look good when Shane's two diamonds from the end rail. Michaela Tab, sorry Jay, Michaela Tab called on to referee quickly upon applying the white gloves to the Race cue ball to, to clean racks. it. First rack, Europe to break. And Suke will kick things off. There's your score, 10-7. USA needs to win one match to capture the Moscone Cup. Europe needs to win four in a row from here. Ralph beat Shane earlier today, six to three. And he played superbly in that match, Jim. He's gonna need an instant replay here. I think Van Boning is eager to make amends. Ball's going down everywhere there. Yeah, made the one and the two. And the closest ball to the cue ball is the one Ralph will be looking at, the three. We're going to see a safety here off the three ball. He has a choice of going off the bottom of the three, putting the cue ball behind the nine ball, or going off the top of the three and sending the cue ball down to the end rail. That's the way he's gonna go. Using that eight for cover. Nicely done by Ralph. Shane's gonna have to kick off the end rail with right English to hit the three. You think so, Jay? He may go side cushion and try and flick that three and just bump it to the top cushion. You know, you're right. He's got room to get behind the eight here. He might make the three. Problem oh, is he can make it. Problem is the four is on the other end rail. Yeah. He's got no shot at the four. That wasn't a very good safety from Suke there. <laughs> Shane's got to come up with something now. He may come off the right edge of the four ball, go two rails down table, and use the seven and the eight for blockers. Extension. Each player allowed one 30 second extension per rack, and they have to be respectful of that 30 second shot clock. That keeps things moving briskly. Needs to make a real good hit on this four ball. I'm kind of surprised he went that way. Look at this. He's going to leave Ralph a shot here. 
Pretty careless safety there by Shane. He's not a happy camper as he departs the table there. This is wide open. Yeah, Ralph's got the four. He can just roll off the end rail, come back up for the five. That's the six all the way up at the other end rail. Key shot right here, Jay. Five to the six. The seven in the middle of the table. Now if Ralph can reach this comfortably and he can cue at this, he should be able to force follow this. Needs a big stroke right here. And he delivers. Now he's pretty much problem free the last four balls. being straight here is ideal. He can just slowly follow through. And he'd like to be straight in on the eight. This little angle's fine because the cue ball is going to bounce off the side rail. Easy shot on the nine coming up next. First game will go to Team Europe and Ralph's okay. No danger. Once the mistake from Shane Van Voning with the safety play. Suke pounced. And Alex Laley again trying to urge his troops on. Shane looks a little funky right now, Jim. Yeah, it's tough to tell which team is in front 10 7. That's the overall score. You have to think that Team USA believed that Johnny Archer was going to close out this match, especially after Dennis Hatch just put that knockout punch on. And there's the Kaiser, a dominant force, and he has been for European teams. In Moscone Second Cups, past and USA present, he's ranked number two in the world, won that world title back in 1996. He's been a solid player down through the years. He's won multiple titles every single year for the last 14 years. Van Boning to break rack number two. Again, the real pressure from Shane's perspective is wanting to be the last man the last man to hit the last ball. Nothing for down. a winning side. You know something, Jay? When America got off to such a great start and took four of the first five matches on day one, establishing a 4 1 lead, I thought then it's such a formidable lead because all they have to do now is, is volley matches back and forth, almost like chess. If you seize a piece, you look for exchanges. And that's basically what's happened. Until they've, today. They've still got that three point lead. The only other time they were down within three points was when it was 7 4 during day three. But one ball is makeable. Went for the safety instead. He moved that eight ball over on the side rail right by the side pocket, making that a difficult ball. Shane's got a long one ball here. Yeah, but if he knocks this in, he's going to let that cue ball drift over to the left hand side of the table to leave the two available. Going forward, the cue ball, the three ball might get in the way on this position. Oh, he slow rolled it. Beautifully played. You see a player slow roll a ball like that when you know he's under a lot of pressure. 
That's always a sign that he's got his nerve under control. Shoot the two in the end, try to roll the cue ball off the end rail. That's the three ball right by his cue stick. Nicely done. It is interesting, Jimmy, even though the USA is in the lead 10 to seven, it feels like all the pressure's on them. What do they say, Jay? Toughest to win are the first and the last. Looks like Shane's drawing around these balls for position. Yep. And he did it too. And perfect angle here. Be able to draw this back down for the five next. He wants to get all the way down to the end rail with the cue ball below the five so he can play good position on the six. Shane's got a big, powerful stroke, though. He made that look easy. Well, from this angle, he may be shooting the six and the side next. The eight ball is going to be his problem, this rack. He's going to have to get real good position from the seven to the eight. Extension. Showing, like he's got showing experience here, though, Jay. Sorry. I think that he's got just a trace of angle here to get that cue ball up to leave an ideal angle on the six. Did exactly what he wanted to do there. He kept that angle. The cue ball will go up table towards the seven after the six is deposited in the side pocket. This is the big shot. He looks very straight on this seven. Too straight. He's going forward two rails out of the corner with the cue ball. The speed's got to be perfect here. Looks good though. Looks <laughs> real good. How good did he hit that one? You can see him shaking that back arm. Just trying to stay loose. about ready to tie this match up one game apiece. The Moscone Cup is on the line right now. Van Boning knows it. 1-1. One, one. The race to six. Number three, a 1-1 one, one score. Big break shot, big powerful break shot. And the two ball went a little bit far. You know, Jimmy, what I see here is he may be able to bank this two back down and make the eight. I'm not too sure he wouldn't be trying this even if the eight wasn't there. Actually, the eight being there doesn't help his cause simply because he's no guarantee of getting position to the two. And the cue ball, he'll hold up table near the three. That's one option, Jay, for sure. The other option would even be to flick the two into the three, spin the cue ball off the right-hand side. Ralph is a very, very creative player. I'm looking but at him banking this two into the eight. It's a pretty straightforward bank. If he makes it, the two should stop near the corner pocket. Now you went, he went your way. He played safe. He's trying to get that cue ball behind the seven. Didn't quite do it. There's always plenty of options 
and you never really know exactly how a player feels. Sometimes it's important to get aggressive. You send a message to your opponent, and other times discretion may be the better option. You see, when Shane walks over there, he's looking at that angle for the bank, two onto the eight. He can take the same shot. You're always taking a chance when you let your opponent come back to the table like Ralph just did. Or he could play a similar shot to Suke, knowing the two's going to bank up, and he may have the three as a goalie. I think Shane wants to shoot here. He did. He pounded it in, too. You can see the two. I'm not sure whether it goes. If it does, that's a big shot from Van Boning. It'll go. It's a little bit of a tight fit pass. Oh, he's got the full pocket. He's got the full pocket. He needs to hold the cue ball right there for the three next. Oh, that's a great shot. He used that the whole pocket. Great shot. Again, still shaking that back arm. He's trying to stay loose. You can tell Shane is feeling the pressure of the Moscone Cup. He's in great shape now. Ralph might be regretting that he didn't take that same bank shot. Hindsight's always 20-20 on a pool table. Shane's got a good angle to draw back for the six ball. This is almost a stop shot right here. Another stop shot here. And Shane will have a straight in on the nine to take the lead. And 2 1 will be Van Boning's lead. And looking very comfortable, the South Dakota kid. Taking USA one step closer. Four more rack wins. And the dry patch will have ended for the Americans. Johnny Archer was leading the cheers there. There's the story of day four. Two matches already, the side of Team Europe against that one performance from Dennis Hatch, a 6-0 drubbing of Niels Feyen. Suke 2-1 down at present, hoping that he can pass the baton to Darren Appleton. Rack four, USA to break, leading by two racks to one. And Van Boning swiped that last one against Suke's break. Shane had some problems breaking in his first match with Ralph. Now he's moved over to the left side. He's finally breaking from the same place as Ralph. It's amazing how much care these players put into placement of that cue ball. One went right in the side. And that won't be a legal break. So break. Sh Shane control will be going passes. back to his chair and control passing to Ralph Suke. And just to remind our viewers, if they're just joining us, the rules of the break, three balls have to pass the head string. Every ball pocketed counts as a ball having passed the head string. In this case, the one ball into the side and only one ball, the pink four, passing the head string. And that's why Suke's at the table. Now, if Ralph doesn't like this shot at the two, he can pass it back to Shane. He hasn't really decided yet, because there's no real pocket for the two. He's going to have to play a safe if he wants to shoot at it. He's given no indication of giving it. Yeah, he's going to take it, take it on. 
probably try to hide the cue ball behind the five after contact with the two. No, he went the other way. He used the seven as a blocker. Well, Shane can get through to the right edge as he looks. You can just see a little bit of the two ball. Extension. He's got to be real careful with this one. Soft shot. That's not it. That's not it. He wanted the cue ball to go past the eight there. Now, Ralph obviously has a very difficult shot on this two. The three in the middle of the table. If the two is frozen to the rail, it's a little easier to make. You use inside English, in this case, left English. Extension. Get the rail right behind the ball. And you can coax that two ball along the rail and right into the corner pocket. And the cue ball will go up table towards that four. Of course, he's got some traffic. That's what he's looking at. Well, don't you think, Jay, if he was going to go at this two, wouldn't he try and take the cue ball possibly even into that nine to try and hold for position to the three? He's playing safe here. He's going to yeah, knock the two away and hold the cue ball behind all these balls. Smarter shot. And he's definitely got there. That's a good safety there. I'll tell you what, this is not an easy hit. Shane may have to try to jump these balls. No, he's, he doesn't have much time. He used his extension already. No, and this is a tough hit. He's going to the right rail. He's going to kick into the, he's, he's, he's jumping. jumping. <laughs> he's jump kicking here. Jumping the edge of the eight, going to the rail. He hit it. That's a great reply. That's a great reply from Van Boning. Brilliant. Well, he got the best of that role. Hatch up in the nosebleed section here at the MGM Grand. Ralph has his jump cue out. He needs to clear the edge of the eight ball. He'll make a good hit on the two, but after that, it's anybody's guess where it's going to end up. How about in the pocket? That might be the best jump shot of the whole Look at Alex Laley orchestrating a little support for the Kaiser. Just like the maestro at the Bacelli concert last night, Alex Laley getting them off their seats. The three in the lower right corner. Ralph will draw the ball. Back for that four ball. Boy, oh, nicely done there. He had to make sure he missed the seven with the cue, and he did. Now he's in good shape. He can either go forward with the cue ball or draw it back a few inches. I think with this, with being where the six is, he'll go forward just a few inches, just like that. Gives him a good angle on the five to get up to the six. This very, rack's looking real good now, Jimmy. Well, very important to Jay because this was Van Boning's break. So what Ralph will be doing, if he can complete the clearance here, these last five colors, he'll be effectively getting the match back on serve. And he's been breaking real good. This is just a soft little draw shot here. You notice once the players get down to the last five, six balls and they're out in the open, they don't waste much time. They just want to keep that angle. He can roll forward. See, that's what, it, when he walks around and looks at it, he's looking at where he wants to be for the eight ball. A Little bit of a roll forward with the cue ball, maybe a foot or so. That's about it.
Ralph continues to play flawless pool today. Playing the role of spoiler. He does not want Van Boning to be the last American at the table. He'll shoot the nine on the side. He'll tie the match up two games apiece. The sure cueing of Ralph Suke. Leveling the match up to a piece here at the MGM Grand. Welcome back to the Moscone Cup. It's Europe against the USA in nine bowls answer to the Ryder Cup. Overall, the Americans lead 10-7, just a point away from victory. But Europe are fighting hard to stay in the hunt. Well, USA has not tasted victory in the Moscone Cup for three years. The last win back in Holland. Another big break. Ralph's got that break zeroed in. He's gonna, ha he's gonna have a shot on the two. He's got a great shot on the two and perfect angle to just draw that cue ball to the side cushion for the three next. This is a great chance for Suke. The five eight's a little bit tied up, but he's got some work to do before he gets there. Yeah, it looks like the 5-8, Jay. We just got a glimpse there. It just, uh, it looks like it offers a pretty easy billiard if you can get that cue ball into the right area. He'd like to draw right up above the six ball here. Like to get around the six ball with this stroke and come straight back up for the three and then the four. He no, used, he, yeah, he he used the seven. He that didn't intend to hit the seven there. Went a little bit farther than he wanted. Yeah, I think, Jay, I think he was trying to do exactly what you said. But in contacting that seven, it just straightened the cue ball up and the speed, the line, the intended line of position was lost. He's got a problem here getting from the three to the four. He's trying to slow roll it, leave himself a big angle on the four. He almost snookered himself here, but I think he's got room to see that four ball. But this becomes a very tough shot. And the five and eight are tied up. Yeah, he can see the, he can see I, the edge of the four. That's all. I don't think he can. Jay, I don't think he can. I think he's trying to spin this off the cushion to try and flick it in. Cushion first. Well, he, he did exactly what you, oh, he didn't want to make this ball. He didn't want to make that eight ball. He'd have been very happy to leave Shane this log shot on the four. Well, what Ralph can do is come off the right edge of the four and bring the cue ball two rails and try to get the cue ball back down behind the seven. Of course, that's going to take a pretty solid stroke. That's the only safety I see here, Jim. Let's bring the cue ball all the way back around the table and hide it behind the seven. Well, possibly, Jay. And that is a very high degree of difficulty in that shot. Well, he's got to hit the he's got to hit the four real thin to make that shot work. As you said earlier, though, these guys come up with all different kinds of options. He's just playing the side to side safety. It's not what he wanted to do. He didn't want that four to stop in front of the side pocket. He wanted that four to stop on the side rail. Shane's got a chance here. Shane may have, I'm not sure if he, yeah, he looks like he can shoot straight at it. He'll hit this one with high left English. He wants the cue ball to come off the side rail and go back across table just like that for the five. Nicely done. That was an error. 
by Ralph Suke. But like I said, from that distance, it's hard to play a safe sometimes. match where one error can make the difference between winning and losing the Moscone Cup. A lot of time taken by Van Boning here. It just can't be too simple. So much is dependent on each and every shot. He'll probably just draw that cue ball straight up along the rail and shoot the nine in the side. Well, he came across, he'll shoot the nine in the corner. Kind of hard to see uh, the angle from where we are, but. This will put Team USA in the lead. Three games to two. And that's exactly what it is. The all-important 11th point to secure the Moscone Cup is there for the USA to take. 3-2, the man of the moment, the former U.S. Open champion, is in front of Ralph Suquet. He took advantage of that error by Ralph Suquet, that rare error. And this time, Ralph had his break pinched the de facto team captain and Johnny Archer's down there telling Shane exactly what he wants him to do now go do it buddy rack six USA to break leading by three racks to two and with a three two lead Van Boning out of his chair now now he goes back to the right side Well, we'll see what Archer told him. See if he changes. Maybe it was the, the change in where he broke from, Jay, because this is where Archer was enjoying success. And Van Boning's got a powerful break. Oh, he got the nine flying. Well, he made the one. The two and eight are tied up. I think Shane's gonna have a choice here. We'll see in a moment of either playing a billiard from the two to the eight or a safety, which he might take. He may just try to roll the two past the eight and use the eight as a blocker. When Shane looks from that angle, he's looking at the billiard. When he looks from here, he's looking at the safety. I think we're going to see a safety here. He's going to just try to roll this two past the eight, use the eight as a blocker. Just like that soft shot. Got to hit it just right. I don't know if that quite did it. Well, he hasn't left the two, but he hasn't snookered him either, Jay. He didn't hide the whole two ball here. Let's see if we can see this. I think Ralph can see half the two ball, and if he can, he can knock, yeah, he can knock the two ball away. And he might even be able to duck the cue behind the eight if he can see enough of it. And that, and you know what? He's looking at the side cushion simply for a full contact, and that would be with the idea of holding that white behind the eight very tough. A lot riskier. It would certainly offer more rewards. One thing you can always be assured of with the Ralph Suquet, and Jay, you've seen him play an awful lot as well. He's going rail first. You'll never do anything without careful thought. That's an error. He wanted to bring that cue ball back behind the eight there, Jimmy. That's exactly why he went to the cushion first, and he didn't catch it full in the face. He had a real awkward stance. He was leaning over the table here. He just didn't make a good hit on that ball. Boy, what an opportunity for Shane. Already 3-2 in front. That's the three ball all the way up in the end. But the good news is it's close to the pocket. 
Shane can come off the end rail with the cue ball. A little left English. He'll drift down towards the four. A lot of support here. And even from family members, that's Mr. Van Boning, the eldest, Thank Shane you. Van Boning's grandfather. I went up in the elevator with him the other day, Jay, and I'll tell you what. If he looks like a character, pictures are not deceiving. Let me tell you something. That guy was a good pool player once upon a time. He loves his pool. And he loves his grandson. Very proud grandfather. Shane's mother and aunt were also amateur pool champions, so it kind of runs in the family. I guess there was no chance that Shane was going to be a golfer then. <laughs> no. Nice angle on this. He's looking good now. Taps of chalk. He's trying to tell that cue ball to slow down. When I first saw Shane Van Boning playing at a tournament in Canada, Archer was at the event. Archer and Shane locked horns. Johnny beat him 9-8. He came over to me after Jay. This is back about five, six years ago. He said, that kid can play. He was a bit of a prophet, wasn't he? Shane will make this nine ball to take a two game lead and only be two games away from capturing the Moscone Cup. Held serve in a vital rack. The South Dakota kid four two in front of Ralph Souquet trying to avenge an earlier loss and more importantly trying to hoist the Moscone Cup. Four two to Van Boning in USA. Ball down. Two balls down. Yeah, but the three was the ball that Suke was focusing on. And it's come to impede the direct path between the cue ball and the one. Yeah, Ralph's gonna have to push out here. Looking at going up to the end rail, but I don't know where he's going to go here. Push out. He's got a little bit of a problem here, Jimmy. There's just about nowhere he can go where Shane cannot play a safety right back at him. He may try to hide the cube, just use the nine as a blocker. That's what he's doing. And he's left a kick. Shane passed it right back. Wasted no time. Ralph's going to be kicking at this off the left-hand cushion. And with that one ball so close to that cushion, you know that he'll be able to play this shot with a lot of understanding on where that cue ball and one will be headed. Well, he'd like to kick this ball right in the side pocket. That's not an easy one to make. This isn't bad. He kicked it up table. Couldn't have done much better than that. But I think I'd rather have Van Boning shot here than the one previous. And that was the gamble that Shane took. Jimmy, you can show him here. He's going to bank this one back down the middle of the table. And he'll use the he'll use the six and three for blockers. Try and leave the cue ball in this area. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward safety, I would Extension. say. Or will he 
I mean, uh, he's got the option where that four ball is, but that's aggressive. No, he's, he's gone with option A, and I don't know whether or not he's held it. It's very close, very close. He may be able to get through to this one. There might be a window between the six and the three. Big window. Don't know whether or not he can pocket the one, but he can definitely see it. He's walking around there like he wants to shoot at this one ball. This is a long, difficult cut shot. Extension. Even more so, knowing that if he misses this, Shane can get to the hill. If he goes for this one, he has to make it. He went for the safety. Cue Played a good one too. Towards the Played a good one too. Shane can see it. I think what we're going to see here is Shane is going to knock the one ball away and use the nine for a blocker. Got a pretty good safety battle going this game. See another little soft shot here. Knock the one up table. Let the cue ball stop behind the nine. He did it too. He did it. Never means, never mind stopping behind the nine, welding it behind the nine. There might be a little bit of room there. We can't see. Is there any space between the cue ball and the nine? No, I'll tell you what, Ralph has just had a look about pushing that nine towards the eight. So I don't think there's any room there. Yeah, show me some oh, no. room. Maybe a dollar bill. He married those balls. When you got to kick off the end rail like this, it's a real hard angle to judge. And even tougher to get it safe if you do hit it. He might scratch, he might scratch. So tough to try and negotiate an escape like that. That was the, that was really the beneficiary of a great safety from Van Boning. And this will get him to the hill. And America on the cusp of winning back the coveted Moscone Cup. Shane's fine here. One to get below the five, so he's got an angle to get up table for the six. He did it. Cue ball's gonna go to the end rail, bounce back up, just like this. Kind of straight in. He didn't want he wanted some angle one way or the other, and he didn't get it. He may be forced to take a long shot at the eight ball. Unless he wants to draw back and forth across the table with the cue ball. I'm not so sure he wants to do that either. He may try to cheat this pocket a little bit. He did, boy, he did a good job there. That's he forced that cue ball two feet up the table. That's a great shot, Jay. And again, a real sign of confidence and asserting himself in this match. Two balls away from getting to the hill. He's got it. That's team captain Nick Varner. Very happy right now. Nine down. Five two is confirmed. And look at Dennis Hatch. One more rock. One more big win, Van Boning. And you'll be the hero of the moment. One elusive rack win to secure that trophy. If he ever wanted to break big, this is the one. Quieten down now, please. You really got to hold on to your composure in a spot like this. Former U.S. Open champion, though, he knows what it's like lassoing those emotions. Looks good. 
I don't think so, unless this goes down, and it didn't. That'll be an illegal break. Control and control will pass to Ralph Suquet. Even though a ball was pocketed, you can see the, the two balls as you see Shane Van Boning once again showing you this break, but only one ball, well, two balls down, but nothing went past the head string to total three. Ralph's got a Quietly, no, long please. diagonal nine foot shot on the two ball. One of the toughest shots in pool. A real test of cueing here, Jay. Yeah. And he missed it. Nine. Very close. Very close to fluking the nine. He might have got away with it. I told you that was a tough shot there to start out the rack with particularly being down five to two. Shane may not have a shot at the two here. He looks like he's hidden by the three. He's looking like he can see the top edge of the two ball. Extension. He might be trying to cut that two in the lower left corner. He can see enough for that shot. Tough, tough cut shot here. Oh, he went for the safe. He's trying to make that ball on the side, he did. Smart shot. He bumped the seven in the side. A very adventurous shot, and it may well. This rack's open right now. Well, that could be the platform for Van Boning to run these colors out. What a great shot that was to open up. And look at this. Now they're there. And with each ball that goes down, the crowd will start to sense what may be inevitable. He's got to keep the angle on the four. And he does, he does. He's got a little angle. He's going to have to hit this four hard. Bring the cue. Oh, he wants to, he's going to go forward and shoot the six on the side. Probably a smart decision. You hit these balls hard on these tables and on this table here, and it can bounce out. He's going forward, play position for the six in the side. Nicely done. He couldn't put it any better with his hand. Staying in control and in the moment. Very determined young man here. He wants to be the one that puts the finishing touches on the Moscone Cup. And I think he's done it, Jimmy. You know, a little tricky. He's got to draw the ball probably close to the side pocket. The eight ball's a hanger, but the position is not. He's going to have to flirt with the side pocket here, I think, unless he wants to go below. He went below it. Smart decision. He'll shoot the nine in the side. Listen for the thunderous roar when this nine departs the table. He might go in the end here. He's, he's going all the way down to the end. And there it's it goes. There, and the USA waited three long years to win the Moscone Cup back. It's been a dry patch that has ended. A very worthy championship team to a man. They came out every day and played with emotion and heart. Team USA 2009 Moscone Cup champions. Hatch, Van Boning, Archer, Dominguez and Duel will celebrate tonight.
Team USA win back the trophy that Europe have held for the previous two years. This team, shaken up by defeats in Vegas and Malta, underwent a transformation. Two new faces introduced, and a revitalized attitude has brought its rewards as Team USA win the 16th Moscone Cup.